Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video today. Today's video is going to be my one month post tummy tuck update. I cannot believe it's been a month. I had my surgery on May 16th and today as I am filming this video, it is actually June 15th. So, you know, yesterday was four weeks. So we're going with the month thing but I actually wasn't even going to film a one month update, but within the past two weeks since I did my last video, so much has actually happened that I decided I needed to go ahead and film an update so that I didn't forget all of this stuff that happened in the two weeks by the time I filmed a two month update, which was my original plan. So after this one month update, you won't get another one until two months. But for those of you who are new here, I do have a total um, playlist that I've created of all of my tummy tuck info from my consultation all the way up till now being one month post-op, but essentially I had what is referred to as a plus sized tummy tuck. Um, my doctor took off about 10 pounds of skin and fat between the skin she cut off and the lipo she sucked out. Um, and again, I had my surgery on May 16th. So the last time I updated you guys, I showed you my stomach. I'm going to do that again today, but I was doing fairly well for being two weeks post-op. I was getting up, moving around, cleaning the house, all of the things. And I still am doing all of those things, but how I feel now versus how I felt two weeks ago is drastically different. So let's go ahead and just start at the beginning. At the two week mark, Yes, I was doing things, but after a while, um, I would feel weak, like I needed to sit down, my back would hurt. I wasn't having any pain at the two week mark. And I know that that is drastically different from what a lot of other people experience. Everybody's pain level is different, but I particularly did not have a lot of pain ever from the very beginning. I wasn't in a lot of pain. Um, you know, I felt mild pain for maybe two days, but Again, at the two week mark, I had no pain at all, except for occasionally in my back. And that is what would start to hurt once I started to do things. Now, at the three week mark, so last week we went to the beach and um, my doctor had told me, and I think I mentioned it to you guys, that if I took the tape off of my incision because she left your um, incision taped for a total of three weeks, so if I took the tape off and there was no open areas that I would be able to get into the pool. Now, this is where we're going to get into the very first and only so far complication since I had my surgery. So Chris and I were taking the tape off together. I was laying on my wedge pillow and we start pulling the tape off and the very last piece of tape, I was almost in the clear to go in the swimming pool. The last piece of tape had a pretty big open area. I'm gonna insert a picture right here. Um, this is on my left hip. It had an open area about this long and it was seeping fluid. So I went ahead and emailed my doctor and she got back to me immediately, like within 10 minutes. And she said that she suspects that I had a little fluid pocket in that area and that it had opened to allow the fluid to come out because it was like I was having to hold tissue paper on it to soak up some of the fluid. Essentially, I was at the beach. She couldn't do anything. I think if I had been in town, she would have seen me, but she essentially just told me to retape that area and not get in the pool. So I did just that and I checked it periodically throughout the week and it was slowly closing up, which is what she expected, what she told me she thought would happen, that once the fluid that needed to get out got out, it would close back up. So fast forward to yesterday, I had my one month post-op appointment and I go in and she is looking at my stomach and she notices, which is something that I had noticed as well, that there was um, a good bit more swelling on that left hip than on the right hip. They're both still swollen. I'm only four weeks out. They will be swollen, you know, you're not, the first like three months, you're, you're pretty swollen. You're gonna keep shrinking. But that side you could definitely see was more swollen. So she asked if she could stick a needle in it and see if, there was any more fluid in it. And so I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. Do what you gotta do. And then she pulls out this huge, huge needle. And I'm like, 
maybe that was a bad idea telling her she could do it, but she assured me that I would not feel anything, that it was gonna be fine, whatever. So she sticks this needle right on in my incision line, not in the spot that was open. So she actually created another little hole, which I will show you when we get into, you know, what I'm looking like now. Um, and she did suck out about 15 milliliters of fluid. So I did have a little fluid pocket over there that had formed. And if you guys remember, if you watched my other videos, my drains only stayed in for about a week because I was having really minimal drainage, like 15 milliliters or less per day. So she did take them out at the one week mark and she had sort of said, you know, we're taking them out early, you're having minimal drainage, but you may develop, um, just make sure you're wearing good compression because you may develop um, what is called a seroma, which is the fluid pocket, or you may not. It's just, you know, something that is possible. So um, I did. And she jabbed a big old needle in there, traumatized Kylie because Kylie was in the room with me and sucked out some fluid. So it didn't hurt at all. I didn't even feel it. I actually thought it was kind of cool. I was like, oh. I was standing there watching her do it. And she was just sucking, sucking stuff out of there. So that is the big complication that I've had. It didn't hurt when she did it. It hasn't hurt since then. Um, and hopefully now everything will sort of heal up the way it is supposed to. That side is more swollen, but she said that both sides are still pretty swollen and I'm not really seeing my result yet anyway. And I won't for a couple more months at least. So stuff that I am still continuously doing since I had the, since I updated you guys at two weeks, I'm still drinking the liquid IV every single day. I actually have it right here. Um, my favorite flavor is the strawberry and I have a discount code for you guys. I'll link it below. No obligation. I just thought I, I literally love this stuff and I introduced it to my brother-in-law, um, on vacation and he would drink it like one every day and it would help with like sun headaches and stuff. So the stuff is good. So get you some. Um, I'm also doing a scar cream every day. I showed this in my last video, but this is the Biocornium Advanced Scar Treatment by the brand Sientra, I believe. I'm doing this once daily. Um, usually I put it on before I go to bed when I change my garments because I do have a day garment and a night garment that I'm going to talk about. And I usually will put it on at night, um, especially if I shower at night, which I have been. So that goes on once a day. Now, I do want to mention before I get into garments, one major um, change over the past two weeks has been that I feel, I noticed that week three, so week three to week four, which was that week that we were at the beach, I throughout that week felt way continuously better. So at the beginning of the week, my back would hurt after walking for a while. I would get tired. It was still harder to stand up. Like if I was in a seated position, I would have to try a little bit harder to get out of the seated position. But by the end of that week, I was hopping right up. And my back rarely hurts now, unless I'm on my feet for a extended period of time, my back does not hurt. Um, and I also, that is when I personally began to notice a decrease in swelling in the top half of my stomach, which I will show you guys when I show you my stomach. Um, and my doctor said yesterday that the, the top of my stomach, like the top above my belly button is starting to look like what my shape will look like. If that makes sense, it, the swelling is moving down. Um, so those were two big improvements. I would say week three was drastically better than week one and week two, even though I didn't have a bad week one and week two, week three really like I came back to life, I guess you could say. So when I mentioned that to her yesterday, she was like, yeah, that's what I hear often. Week three is usually when there's this big turnaround and you start to feel better and can do more and function like your normal self again. So if you're in week one or week two, you are not that far off hang in there. I promise it gets better. Like overnight, it was just like, oh, I can do things that I haven't done in close to a month now. So hang in there. Now, like I mentioned, I have two, I've, I've finally figured out a pretty good garment routine that works well for me. They're all garments that I showed you in my last video. I will link them all below again. I did forget to link them last time and a couple people kept asking for them and I did eventually go back and link them. But this time I promise I will link my tummy tuck playlist and all of the stuff that I'm mentioning, I promise. If I don't, 
somebody yell at me in the comments, but I'm, I'm going to do it. Um, so my day garment, I'm actually wearing it right now and I'm going to stand up and show it to you guys. Cause I'm going to take it off before I show you like my actual stomach, but this is that black one that I was showing you before that is by the brand Shaper X. It comes up around my bra line here. And then here is actually eye and hook closures all the way up and then it zips and it buttons at my crotch as well. Um, as far as clothing goes, these pants are ones that I could not wear pre-surgery, um, but they still don't button. I'm still not wearing anything that buttons because it's a little uncomfortable, but these didn't fit me before surgery. So these are kind of my like in between, you know, things right now. But that is my garment that I am wearing. Oh, this, I messed this up. That is my garment that I'm wearing during the day. I put it on in the morning and that is what I wear all day. At night, I showed you guys both of these in the last time, but I wasn't wearing them um, together in the sense that I am now. So this is the garment that I received from the hospital or from the surgery center. Um, it is by the brand Morena Recovery. And this is huge on me, guys huge. It is a size 4X. This is what they put me in right after surgery, which I think was just to keep everything nice and loose, but it's, oh, and that's my scarf ring. If you're, look, it, it doesn't even wash out, but anyway, um, this is very big on me. You can see where I put the scarf ring, like I just mentioned, but I put this one on the, like, you know, on the bottom as a base because I don't like the way the other ones that I have form like marks on my stomach. They move around a lot. This just helps keep everything where it's supposed to be. So it's really all I'm using this for, but I do put this on first at night. And then the last time I talked to you guys, I was using that tan one that was like a um, postpartum wrap. So you would actually wrap it and then wrap the bottom. I'm no longer using that one. It is stretched out to the point, or I've shrunken to the point, not really sure which, that it just doesn't work anymore. I can't get it tight enough and keep it tight enough to wear it's actually compressing the way I need to be compressed. And I do tend to want it to be tighter at night um, when I'm not gonna be doing as much moving around versus during the day when I need it to be functional, you know? So the one that I've been using now is actually that wrap that I told you I wasn't fond of. <laughs> you know, things change. So this is it, it goes over your head like this. And then it is very, 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 very long, very long. And you can wrap this thing all the way down your stomach and tighten it as much as you want. There are several different, where they at? Closure marks, Velcroed closure. So this would be the loosest one. Yeah, this would be the loosest one. And this would be the tightest one. When I started, like right after when I got this one, I could only buckle it to here. And now I can buckle it to the third one. Most of the time I do the second though, because the third is pretty tight. Or you can even go like halfway in between um, with the way the Velcro is. You can clip it like, you know, it's a big piece of Velcro, so you can clip it halfway or whatever. But that is what I've been wearing at night. And I feel like that is the good, the good combo. I also think that adding this in at night gives some compression in my groin area, which is where a good bit of my swelling is now, just cause that's where the swelling goes away last. So I think that's all that I have to update you on. The big thing I wanted to talk about was the Seroma. Um, if you do end up with a Seroma, it's okay. Life will be fine. The needle didn't hurt. Um, it's apparently a pretty common complication from what she told me. So I'm not too worried about it. And she just told me to, to make sure I stay compressed and make sure I drink a lot of water. She told me that for compression, wearing it 24 seven, six weeks mandatory, three months is best. And then after three months, you can start to, um, you know, not wear it for periods of time if you don't want to or whatever. But three months is what is really best to get the most bang for your buck with the surgery. Um, okay, so I think that's all I have to show you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and, or tell you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my pictures. So this was the before, if you, you know, don't remember, this was the two week mark. And now let's go ahead and look at what I'm looking like four weeks post-op. Okay. So I was going to take the garment off before and then just like show you guys after, but I want to show you how, you know, easy it is to put on. Well, essentially it just has this little eye hook thingy-ma-bobber. Of course now it's gonna be. And then you just unhook it 
all the way down, except I didn't remember that I need to slide my arms out of this. So we'll just do it like this. We're going, who's that girl that does this stuff? Oh, Carrie Dayton, when she gets dressed <laughs> on camera, she's like, oh, let me, let me bend down so you don't see anything you're not supposed to see, you know. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> pull that down. And then I guess I need to adjust the camera a little bit so you can actually see what you're looking at, you know? Piper of the shoe. I do this so smoothly 99% of the time and now when I'm showing you guys this. So I'm actually going to slide it all the way off and then pull my pants back up. So, because if I don't, it's gonna cut into my stomach and you guys don't wanna see that. Like you're not wanting to see it all, you know. Oh geez, Brittany. You're not wanting to see it all like that. So. I now have pants on with no underwear. Okay, let's see here. Maybe we should move this down a little bit too. Okay, so this is what my stomach is looking like one month post-op. So I'm gonna see if I can show you. This is the first time that I've shown you guys the scar. So my scar is freaking gorgeous. This is not... We're not doing great things here with this camera angle. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so my, there we go. Okay, so this is one month post-op. This is what my scar is looking like. Um, this is the good side, obviously. Very happy with this so far. And then I do have some residual bruising right here, which I'm not sure how long that's gonna take to go away. But I've noticed that these stretch marks get more prominent but like she was saying, this like upper half, whether it's more defined, is what you know it's eventually going to look like all down here. Um, this, okay, so you can obviously see right here that this side is way more swollen than this side. Um, she said this side's still swollen, but this side's way more swollen. So this is the area where it opened here. And then this is where she put the hole in to drain it so it's not that wide anymore um but yeah it is definitely and I obviously have my pants kind of cutting into me where they normally wouldn't be but this is my two weeks see you can see definition there here's my stomach here and I can't like round my stomach out or whatever but when I push my stomach out that's what it looks like um so that is what everything is looking like right now. I, like I said, I'm noticing a huge decrease in swelling up here. My belly button is a lot more healed than the last time you guys saw it. And I can also tell that some of this swelling is starting to go down because the stretch marks are getting more prominent um, and white. But these were the stretch marks that were up here before. But yeah, so essentially we're waiting for the swelling to go down. Oh, Brittany, this shirt. Here, um, here majorly, because this one's way more swollen. And then there is some swelling on the front part here. And she said that this is all the last thing to, to go down. Um, and that this, like I said, is starting to look how it's gonna look. And then this will follow in the next, you know, couple of months or so. So that is what we're looking like. And when I pull my pants up, you know, there's no overhang or anything like that, which is good. And I am assuming that it's going to continue to decrease as, you know, my hips, you know, shrink back down to what they're supposed to really are going to look like. So that is my one month update. Again, I'm not going to update again until two months. So stay on the lookout for that. Watch the entire playlist down below. I covered, like I said, from my consult, 24 hours after surgery, three to five days after surgery, a whole array of tummy tuck information. So go check that, that out if you're interested in that. If you're not, then okay, you don't have to. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you for another tummy tuck update at the two month mark. And then after that, we'll probably do six months. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you very, very soon. Bye guys. I know.